So in the conversation of why Dubsado, a lot of times people are like, I send a contract and the invoice to my clients anyways and get paid, what's the big deal? When you use a proposal with Dubsado, in one like link, you're able to link together the proposal, the contract, and the invoice. And what's really nice about that is it's one stop for your client, but you also, because inside of Dubsado, you can use workflows to then follow up with the proposal. I feel like that's really where a lot of entrepreneurs miss out is with the follow up with leads because either we feel bad, we don't want to pressure or whatever. And to have an automation that just automatically follows up for you, because let's be honest, it's a service to follow up with somebody who said they were interested in working with you. You're actually serving them when you check in a few days later and say, hey, do you have any questions for me? Hey, I sent that email the other day. Did you get it? What, what are you thinking? And just making yourself available to answer questions. Like, it's a good thing. So today I'm gonna show you a workflow that sends a proposal follow-ups with it, will auto-archive it, and then will follow up on the contract signing and also will start the booked workflow as soon as the right time is there. So I don't think I want to talk about much longer. I'm going to actually walk you through that workflow step by step. So let's jump to my computer. All right, so I went ahead and used my go-to dashboard for building out my notions that I use for all of my clients to basically put down on paper what I want this workflow to do before I go into my Dubsado to do it. So I've basically done all my legwork of what I wanted to do here. I do have this dashboard for sale if you dig it and you want to use it in your business. I will link that down below. But here is just, yeah, what we're going to build out. So you don't have to have it. You can just follow along as needed. I will say that I have pre-built out this proposal. So it might be a branding proposal. And these canned emails I already have inside of Dubsado. And my project statuses I already have also inside of Dubsado. So those are the key pieces. You basically need to build the pieces of your puzzle first and then you can put the puzzle together and the workflow is the puzzle. I also have two start workflow actions. So one is going to be a contract follow-up and one is this job booked workflow and those are also already inside of here. So from your dashboard you're going to come down to templates and into workflows. I'm going to add a workflow. I'm going to name it. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste here. Perfect. So my first thing is I need a payment plan on there. It's a zero in the order because it actually happens here. If you use a payment plan at the top of your workflow, because we are going to have a trigger based on that payment plan, you want to make sure your contract does not have a payment plan on inside of the contract settings. So the first thing is I'm going to create a to do to remind me to edit proposal and double check contract. I'm not going to, I have to sign it to me, but I'm not gonna send an email there. Okay. Then I'm going to add an action and this is a send form and I'm going to send a proposal. I'm going to require approval before completing this action and I'm gonna use this canned email send proposal here. Perfect. So what happens when this goes live is a to-do will get created and then this won't send until that to-do is checked off and you've approved the action. All right, so the next thing that happens is the project status gets changed after that. So we're gonna change project status to a lead and I'm going to say contract sent. Perfect. And then we have two follow-up sending forms after a form is not completed. So I'm going to send a form. We're going to go three days after a form is not completed. I'm going to look for the branding proposal and then I'm going to send the branding 
proposal. When you apply this to your project, only one brand new proposal will actually go to their project. It will not be there multiple times. It'll just keep sending the same one that's already on their project. Then we're gonna go follow up on proposal one, checking in, awesome. And I do not want approval for this. It can just go out automatically and it will only go out as long as that form has not been completed. I'm gonna do it again, send form after form is not completed. This time I'm gonna go five days after that. And these have to go in order. So if you wanted your first follow-up to happen at the five day mark and the second one to happen three days after that, these triggers would not work after form is not completed. It'll always go sequentially to the next earliest days later. And then I'm going to again, send the branding proposal. And I have a follow-up email. Perfect, looking forward to hearing from you. And then I always have that form link in that canned email. And then I'm going to go ahead and auto archive if they don't fill out that form also. But I'll do this like 14 days later. I'll give it a little while. And then I'll just archive their project, close out the invoice. It's totally, totally fine. You can always unarchive as well. And then I do have here, that's all assuming they did not fault the proposal, but if they did, then I want to change project status as soon as the form is completed. Waiting on payment. Also want to start a workflow as soon as that form is completed, as soon as the proposal is completed and I want it to be proposal completed, contract not signed. This is really handy if someone were to like start the pro booking process, but they walked away from their computer or something happened. This workflow will send a reminder to them 24 hours later. And I have a link to a video that walks you through that whole workflow if you wanna go ahead and watch that next. Open it in a new tab. You can do that. We'll go ahead and apply. Awesome, okay. Now, so we're gonna change prior status once it's completed, start a workflow once it's completed. Now I wanna hold some actions because I want to make sure, hold actions until the contract is signed by the client because I need them to sign up for them to be booked. And I want to hold actions until that invoice deposit is made. So this is why we do the payment plan on the workflow. So after an invoice installment is made, I'm gonna look for that zero days after contract signed by client. Perfect. And then once all that is done, I can start a workflow. And I like to do, I have a job booked work workflow as soon as everything is completed after that. And now this workflow is totally done to do some follow-ups as needed. And you can always customize it once it's copied onto your client account to narrow down if you wanted to not follow up so quickly here you just do that inside of their project if you found it helpful please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment i would love to hear from you as a bonus for sticking around this long i want to remind you of the free year of Dubzato that I am giving away in partnership with Dubzato as a certified Dubzato specialist. That's me. I'm able to give away a free year subscription. The giveaway ends on July 14th at noon Eastern and the link to how to get in is in the description. It's over on my Instagram. You just got a comment there and you very could possibly could win a entire free year of Dubzato whether you're new to Dubsado or not new, you could win. How cool is that? If you just watched that entire video and you are still super overwhelmed on how to work in Dubsado, that is what I am here for. I am here for you to help you streamline your Dubsado and make it look beautiful. So if you'd like to hop on a free clarity call, you can use the link in the description. I would love to chat with you, see if we're a good fit, and I'd love to get your Dubsado up and running as well as it can be for you and your business. 
I put new videos out every week, so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.